Hi, hello. I would like to tell you guys another fun ghost story because they're so fun. <laughs> okay, so I've always been a slightly sensitive little person. And um, when I was a child, I didn't understand why ghostly things seemed to always kind of happen to me. Yeah, so this is just a super quick ghost story. So here we go. We are at one of my family members' distant relative's house. I can't remember. It was like my cousin's cousin or something. I was probably about 11 and um, my two sisters and I, we were playing hide and go seek. Now this house to me already, I remember when I first got there, I was like, creepy. Now I didn't understand why I was creeped out and I don't know a lot about the house even now. I just knew that I was creeped out. But there was one room in particular that was like the formal dining room where a lot of antiques were stored. That room specifically creep me out. So you had to go through the formal dining room to get to most of the house. Okay. So I am playing hide and go seek with my two sisters and they totally catfished me at 11 with hide and go seek <laughs> because I'm in the house and I'm looking for them and I'm looking for them. And I, I heard something in the formal dining room area and I yelled my sister's name and there was no answer. And I was like, totally trying to scare me, huh? Trying to scare me. And I heard something else. And I go over there and I'm looking in the, I'm now in the formal dining room, which I don't like being in, but I'm thinking it's my, one of my sisters in there to scare me. And all of a sudden a um, stuffed antique rabbit goes flying at me. Not like I was scared. Like I thought that they were messing with me, but I did think at that moment, um, your cousin's going to be mad because that antique bunny probably was like $4 million. So the, the flying antique rabbit goes past my head and I'm like, Gah -gah where are you at? You know, and, and she's still not telling me where she's at. And all of a sudden I hear, I hear laughing and giggling out like <laughs> in the distance. And the way that the house was laid out, I turn, I'm still in the formal dining room. The flying bunny had just passed my little 11 year old head. And I look out the window and there are my two sisters playing outside. And so now my heart, I like, it was like cold freeze. And I'm like, what? You know, and I'm looking around and guys, there was no one, zero in that house. All by myself. So uh, needless to say, I guess someone else wanted to play while my sisters decided to play a joke on me. So that was the story of the ghostly flying bunny. Enjoy. <laughs>